My name is Lorne Balfe and I'm the composer for the TV show The Cry. What appealed to me about uh, writing the music for The Cry was really the characters and the story. The, I connected to it. The tension and the stress that these two people go through in this amazing journey it was just fascinating. I approached the, the score to The Cry by really trying to think of the that family connection. So the, the three note motif throughout the whole school is very important and you'll gradually notice that it then becomes two um, and then one. And it's really trying to connect a, that triangle bonding of the family. There's many elements in there because of location wise they were in Australia and in Scotland. So there's lots of elements of Scottish fiddles in there, but you wouldn't necessarily recognize them. The same with um, elements of Australian musical instruments like the didgeridoo, again manipulated so you don't necessarily know what you're listening to. Um, and then the heartbeat and um, the, the feeling of pressure and that building of a, a pulse throughout the school, which is actually based around um, a baby's heartbeat. Right from the beginning to the end, it's been difficult to try to make sure that we're not giving too much away, uh, not being heavy handed with the characters. Um, but really what we wanted to do was make sure that the, you were invested in those characters and give them, uh, um, help them support the emotion. So I think that was, that was a difficult thing to do and also make sure that you were constantly following that journey and the tension and the stress and music hopefully has been part of that experience. What I hope um, the audience take away from the soundtrack really is Noah's story and Noah's journey and these two parents that are so invested into um, this drama. And I think I'd like that the audience felt connected even more so that when they heard the music separately, they bonded and they uh, were part of this actual uh, viewing experience.